Hello everyone, I'm Nisa Wind. I've just blown in. And as you can tell by the music and by the title screen, today we are back with more Seduce Me 2, The Demon War. We are continuing running out James's arc. Really, music? That's a little out on my end. Just gonna drop the volume real quick. Okay, as I was saying, last time we were... We completed another of James arcs. Um, it was kind of bleak at the end there, but maybe we'll get a better outcome today. If you have just stumbled across this series, hi, welcome. Uh, I will be using the skip button, so if you are interested in seeing all of James's path, I do recommend going back to the first video in the series under James's arc and watching from there. Mostly it's time-saving for me, because I do want to showcase as much of the game as I can. At the same time, there's there's only so many jokes that even I can make. So, with that said, let us get into it, shall we? We're going to pick gold for our lovely whiskey-eyed colored demon boy. Hold on! Hi, Kay! Let me start the game. I need to ask you a few things. Don't want to get lost now. I don't know. I get lost pretty easy. Skip, skip, skip. Yes, I oh, played the first game. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm taking James again. It's cool. Oh, awesome. All right then. James is pretty. Yeah, James is awesome. You know, I, I, I'm good about the trigger warnings. All right then. Oh, just so you know. Though, any time you have- Yeah, yeah, consent's important. And time to name my character. Welcome back, Blue. Enter. And Jail Cell, and Bad Dream, and... I'm sorry, I- Did I miss something? You know what? Let's, let's just go back to sleep. It's okay. I... I had a bad dream. That's all. Good night, sweetie. It sucks you started it, but it's probably nothing, right? And we've seen what happens if you tell him bad dream, and Carrie comes over because I had bad dream, and we're we're just gonna you know chill and eat pizza and have a girls' night or girls' afternoon, I guess. Yay! I had a nightmare last night. Huh? A nightmare? Was it really bad? Yes. So bad, I'm not going to tell you the truth. I'm going to lie to your face and say that James left me at the altar. What? He would know, never right? do that to you. I know. How dare he? And skip, 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 and he's home, and he's asking me what's wrong, and like, eh, nah, I can tell you. Because why would I ever want to communicate with my significant other? That's for suckers. And we're skipping again, and bad... No, not bad dream. Just end up in the demon world, and hmm. You know what? I'ma stay still, cause this is weird. I'm in the frickin' demon world. Yay. Yeah. At least I had us being nice about me being in our world. And plans, strategy, and try sending me home, but it fails. Um, is. What about Diana now? She'll be fine. She's being taken care of. Uh-huh. Taken care of, air quotes. Skip, skip, skip. My room. Diana came to visit me. Isn't she great? Um, are you okay, by the way? Because I'm a concerned person, and I care a lot. And we're going to go explore, because why not? We're going to go left. You can take another left because why not? Yay! And we see them training, and we see them have kisses, and then I come back to my room. It's time for dinner. Om nom nom. Great, good five star meal here. Oh, wait, my character doesn't like it. And we try a ritual, and the boys come through, and Diana and James are um, having a. <laughs> you know, a little bit of a staring contest and I I'm gonna do nothing because they're adults and they can work it out for themselves right and why have you not sent her back 
Uh, dude, calm down. If anyone should be pissed here, it's me. And skip, 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 talk, talk, talk. What are we gonna do? Of course, no one can make any decision without my say so, so I say the trap. Because let's not sacrifice lives, okay? Because clearly I have final say in this. And yeah, the boys are gonna train to fight, and you know what? I wanna fight true. Although, I do call shenanigans, we do not get to see more with the wives and what they're doing. And we're walking, and... Are you okay? <laughs> that is always a valid question. Am I okay? And usually, the answer is no. No, I'm not. But, yeah, that's this whole other show. Skip, skip, skip. We're in our room, and I'm gonna cuddle him, because it's been a shitty day. Yay, cuddles. And bad dream, and we find out there's an angel in my mind, and I don't like it, and I'm not gonna say anything because I don't know what to say. Yay! Talk, talk, talk. Um. I don't know. I don't know either, sweetie. So, hmm. Okay. You don't know either. So long as neither of us knows, right? And the next day of breakfast, everyone's over, and now it's time to start training. Yay! Uh, what would the others teach me? Because I don't, I'm not digging Sarah at the moment. Hmm, who to choose? Uh, what about you, Dee? I mean, you are kind of awesome. You know what? I still choose you, Diana. Be my friend. Love me. Let's go to the mall and braid each other's hair. It'll be great. It's training time, and... You know what? I ch chose you to teach me because I trust you, bitch. Also, you're one of the most baddest people in the castle. And... You know what? What was the question? I will not go easy on you. I hope you realize that. Uh, duh. Why do you think I chose you? I don't mind. You're cool. And we're sparring, and then I go to get a drink. When I come back, there's a black hole in the room. Isn't that great? Let's check it out, shall we? Hello? Void? And a shadow D, and... Hmm... You know what? I'm gonna keep quiet, because this is weird. And they're fighting, and we come out, and she tells me not to tell anyone, so immediately I go back to my room, and... You know what? I don't, I don't care what you're doing, sweetie. I'm just gonna stay quiet, and I'm just gonna sit here and look at you, because eh, he's not that bad looking, let's be honest. He's doing something to help me, I mean, right? Yeah, you know he's getting a quick hug before we go to sleep, cause yeah. Well, look at that happy face. He's so cute. And it's the night and his spell has worked. Unfortunately, it's led him to being tortured. And hmm. I'm I, I can't find an angel that can restrain my incubus lover, and I'm I'm gonna stay hidden until I can figure out how to take you down. And I'm hidden, and then I wake up, and he asks me, Hey, how did you sleep? Uh, yeah, I, I slept well. Kinda. I mean, it wasn't a horrible nightmare, but uh, you were being tortured, so... Yay? And we're both off to training. Except for Diana comes in, and immediately they must start their pissing contest. You know what? Dude, just leave her alone. She's fine. And we're training, and I'm going to focus, because, hmm, I would like to survive the encounter. Yay! And Shadow D's here, and, hmm, that's weird. But... What was that? Seriously, 
WTF, what was that? And we've seen what happens, we ask her what it was, and we go back to my room, and Serio warns me about, yeah, some shit's going down, but you can't tell your significant other because... We need to have a plot. Yes. Hmm. Love? Are you alright? Am I alright? Hmm. James. Eh, you know what? It's, it's fine. Just gotta shake off my thoughts. It'll be fine. Don't worry. We got this. And we see what happens when we shake off our thoughts, and we go to sleep, and then Diana comes in, and... Yeah, has the problem been taken care of? Because, yeah, I understand her not wanting an invading portion of coming in through my head when I sleep every night. I believe so? Yes? Question mark? And trading, and shadow D, and... I'm a help, because that's what I do. I'm a very helpful person. Lies, but meh. And sparring, and Shadow D gets cut open, and I, I would like questions, but maybe now is not the time. So let's take a spoonful of tact and leave it for another day. Yay. Time to go away. And I'm in my room, but uh, I feel someone else is in here with me and I don't like it. I'm gonna leave. Time to go. Unfortunately, I can't. I am slammed shut. The angel is taking me on a vision tour of stuff I already know. Like Diana trying to seduce James in the first game. And if I hadn't interfered, she, he probably would have went with her. Do you know why? Because you're mean? No. This was the time when Maestro was destined to return to the Abyss of Plains. Cool. Too bad that didn't happen. I see that you're beginning to understand. Nope. I never understand. So I'm gonna stay silent. However, your choice to defy destiny has done more damage than this. I mean, has it really? All oh, right, everything's on fire. Yeah, that is the consequence of our love, fire. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. Question mark? How to the nation point? Ew! New text finally. I am sorry. This one just flew by. I did not realize how many of the same choices I was making. Anyway, <clears throat> I couldn't take it anymore. I was plagued by visions of us separating. I was warned of why I shouldn't be with James. Uh-huh, and? The more I listened, the more my heart painfully understood. Uh-oh. This was beyond my control. Bullshit. And this was something I should not have interfered with. Yeah, but then we wouldn't have had a first game, and... Hmm. I had to give up. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Nope. No, 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 no. No. Mm -mm. No. I fell to my knees, feeling the flames around me fade away and be replaced by a room full of falling feathers. I covered my eyes and sobbed. Feeling my heart dying. I love James, but this was too much. Bullshit. No. I 100% disagree with this. I was only human after all. <sighs> I don't like this. A warm hand placed itself on my head. But I felt no strength to look up at who it was. You are human. You uh huh. Do not belong in this world of darkness. Sure, I do. I am the main character. I have special armor. I have blood armor. The best armor. Blue. Dot dot dot. 
May your sins be cleansed for all of eternity, and may the gates of heaven be opened to you once more. But I want my sex incubi boy. I couldn't listen to him. My soul was fighting me. My mind was spinning. Yeah, maybe this is not the time to be making a major decision. My body wanted desperately to stand. But I couldn't. My heart could no longer take the tragedy this road was taking me on. I roll. I needed to stop. I felt warmth envelop my body and a white light take over my mind. No. I felt my mind slowly dissolve all of my memories. Everything I went through. Everything I had done. Gone. Okay, so they're mind wiping me, which fucking sucks. Uh, how are they getting rid of, you know, the fact James has been the CEO for the last year? How are they handling all of my family's memories of James, all of my friends' memories of James, his brother's memories of James, his the brother's wife's memories of James? Like, how are they going to handle that? Because... Yeah, I get it. Mind wipe does not solve everything, though. There is a ripple effect here. Just because you take away my memories doesn't mean you're taking away everyone else's. And an angel's forgiveness. Welp. This further cements my belief that angels suck. So, that is one more path down. Good news is, though, we have been divinely punished, we have accepted our destiny, and we now have an angel's forgiveness. I think all that's left is the canonical, air quotes, good ending. So that'll be interesting next time. My apologies, this video is a little short, like I said in the intro. I mostly only want to show the new content that was here to be had which unfortunately turned out to be like a very tiny snippet at the end. Uh, when we come back next time, we will be finishing James's route. And yeah, <laughs> until next time, the guitar lock kiddo. <laughs>